Namaste everyone. In this video, I would like to take you all through a beautiful set of our Kriyas, Prakriyas and Asana and Mudra known as Pavana Mukta Asana, also Pavana Mukta Kriya. So if you're doing it with the breath and moving through with the practice to be Kriya. If we hold the posture, then it becomes Asana. Pavana Mukta Kriya, Pavana Mukta Asana or Kriya is one of the classical 84 practices or the classical Hatha Yoga Asanas. Now as the term Pavana Mukta Asana, the Pavan is the wind and Mukta is the freeing or liberating. So this set of postures, Kriyas or Prakriyas really help us to liberate, to release or to let go all sorts of trapped wind sort of gastric troubles, flatulence. So anyone struggling with the digestive wind either into the upper digestive tract or stomach and then the lower digestive tract. It's a great, great practice to have. People who are looking to do a bit of nice work for their digestive system, abdominal and pelvic muscles. Another great practice to, to give that, that good massage and stimulating these areas also puts a quite a bit of massage and pressure on our pancreas and liver so also good for for enhancing our pancreatic functions for people with with the diabetic issues or the sugar sugar issues as the practice also has this this letting go or, or releasing effect on our whole digestive and the pelvic system along with the rest of the body so people who are carrying lots of old memories or traumas, the pain, painful memories, the fearful memories associated either with the, with the stomach, digestive areas, the seat of our mind, or the pelvic area, seat of our life, especially sort of sexual, sexual or the pleasure and the creative sort of, sort of negative experiences or the traumas, lots of, lots of people carry these days. So the Pawanamuk, the set of Kriyas can be really great practice to to release that you can actually use them as a part of the warm-up you can also use them as part of the closing series of posters and asana most classical traditions or the schools they use the pawn mukta towards the beginning or towards the end especially end of the practice as some surya namaskars vigorous practices they do actually bring up so much old negative injuries or or the old traumatic experiences and memories and Lots of toxins get stirred up with the practice. So this practice really helps to, to hoose them out or let them go. Now the practice can be done in standing, it can be done in sitting or lying. For now we're just going to demonstrate our sitting and lying practice and we will do as form of our Kriya and the Asana. So if I was doing in sitting up, I would sit straight with my legs to the front. So we, we can do it Eka Pada Pavan Mukta Kriya or Dvi Pada Pavan Mukta Kriya. In sitting normally we do more of the, the Kriya than the Asana itself. So with in breath we draw our right knee and into our arm. Give a really good squeeze and bring it up with your forehead to the knee. So you can feel, you should be able to feel this good squeeze with the breath pressing down and then your knee also pressing against the abdominal and your pelvic area. And then here we hoose out and let go of leg and arms like this. So in. If I can, I would like to alternate. So the next one is left leg in. Continuing right in. Left in. Again right in. Left in. You can do both legs together, breathing in, in, in. So that's our seated Pavanamukta Kiriyas. In lying down in our Supta, in Savasana, we can actually do them with the in-breath, we can do with the out-breath, we can do the hus sort of breath, we can also do a subtle 6-6 six, six breath too. So let's see if we want to do a 6-6 six, six subtle conscious breath. We will do a round with the in-breath and then we can do a few rounds with out-breath too. So if I was doing with the in-breath, which is obviously when you're breathing in, you know, you know, your breath expands into the abdominal 
area, your diaphragm, then your chest, and then your knee goes against it. So it does provide quite a intense massage. So breathing out, breathing in, knee, head together. And now slide your breath to release. Can do two more in. In. Now we do with the left leg. We can also alternate them. Left leg in. 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 One more in. We do with both legs in. In to legs up, forward, arms in, out. One more in. We always do sets of three. Out. And then you just relax. Giving a good conscious breath and really being aware to all the massage and the energy that you have created across your abdominal and your pelvic area. We can also follow the same with actually out breath. This time we will do the right leg, left leg and both legs together. So with out breath we will be drawing on knee and head together with the support of the arms and using the gentle side breath. And you can have a little bit more slower movement. We can actually do the out breath for 12 and in for 6. So breathe out to begin. Take a deep in breath here. Right leg out. Knee, arms and head. In, head down. Arms down and leg down. Left leg in. Sorry, out. In and release. Both legs together. In. Right leg again out. In. Left out. In. Both legs out. In. And out. One more, take a deep in breath. Right leg out. In, release. Left out. In, release. And both legs. And then in and release. Take a moment. It's kind of even like for me, I quite like whenever I have a bit of time, just doing the practices on their own. As you know, you can see, you can even do it in the bed before you get out in the morning or you can just do it and go straight into a deep relaxation or before you sleep quite a good practice so the third sorry the fourth variation we did sitting up we did with the in breath out breath so the fourth variation we can do a little bit more vigorous with we hus or breath as we did in sitting up so if i do the right leg breathe in and then letting go like this then left in Make sure you're not throwing your head back on the floor. Both legs in. Again, right leg in. Left in. Both legs.
third one, right leg, left, both legs, and again taking a moment to relax. So, so far we are doing Pavana Mukta Kiriyas with either the inhalation or exhalation. So if you're really trying to stir up and give a good massage, then I would go with the, with the in-breath as it creates the extra compression, extra massage. To let it all go, then we are hussing out as we let go for posture. So the last step we can do with actually in and out breath, but really holding our posture. So Ek Pad Pavana Muktasana, right knee and your arms drawing your knee in and then head, forehead to your knee. And we hold here. So your left leg not coming up, not extended, just nice and passive and relaxed. Breathe. Also, we're not going up to seated position. And then letting go. Release. You can hold the posture from 30 seconds to a good minute or so. Left leg, Ek Pad Pavan Mukta Asana, over Chandra or the lunar variation, Sakti variation. And then release. And both legs together. Head and your knee together, holding there. And then letting go and release. And relax body. Continuing into Pavana Mukta Kiriyas or the Asana. So for people who cannot get on the floor, it's also possible to do it on the chair. So if I sit quite comfortably, halfway sort of forward, so that allows my leg to come up and down. So if I cannot really move my lower body and my legs, then I can actually do it sort of moving forward. So we'll do a couple of variations. So I think of my legs, if I cannot move them up or, or down, then I will actually use my hands if possible. So breathing out. As I breathe in, bring myself forward to bring my head to the knee and then hussing out and lifting my arms up. In. To the right knee, one more in to the right knee, and then left leg in, in, and again in. If possible, both legs, so we'll keep our knees together, breathe in. So try to fold a little bit in to bring your forehead towards your knees and out. In. In. If we can actually bring our knee up, then it's a little bit more active practice. So we can follow it through. So if I can do my, especially if I'm trying to do the knees up and then I will only do the single leg on the chair as you don't really want to fall back or, or create further problems. So if I'm doing the one leg here, breathing in. 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 in left leg in. 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 Lovely. And then I will just let, let go and rest or relax back. You can pay a good few minutes of relaxation while paying all the attention to your abdominal and your pelvic area, your pelvic fins, abdominal and pelvic energy. 
So we continuing a little further. Thanks for the picard to demonstrating it for us. So the Pavana Mukta Kriya, some more of the vigorous traditions where there is lots of standing sadhana, standing work goes on. We can also practice or perform them from standing. So similarly with you breathing in, drawing your right knee and your head together if you can. And then host and let go. Do it left leg, so alternating your leg if you possible. Again right leg in, left leg in. One more right in, left in, and obviously in standing. You can